Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into Libra and a Libra specific week for the seven, uh, for December, oh my god, the December 7th to December 13th, uh, 2020 and uh, just uh, give me a second here to shuffle the tarot cards but while I'm doing so just to remind you guys that if you are interested in a in a personal reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can uh, choose your service of preference and purchase it and as well, you can go for a tarot classes in case you do enjoy the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn from me. So with that being set aside, let's um, jump into the reading straight away now. The first card that marks the topic of uh, Libra's week, that is going to be the Three of Pentacles, there followed by uh, the next one which stands as the uh, energies which are feeding up the topic of Libra that is going to be all the topic of Libra's week and that is going to be the Ace of Swords followed by the third one here which stands as the challenges that you guys need to uh, overcome throughout the week that is going to be the Page of uh, Wands uh, moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week and that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the justice. Afterwards, we have the impression how people are going to look at you and what are they going to see by doing so. That will be the uh, five of cups. Moving next, it is the obstacles that you will need to, not, you're not going to need to do, but it's, it's like these are the obstacles that are holding you back and down. That is going to be the Knight of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspects which are going to push you forward. They are going to help you to manifest yourself throughout the week. That is going to be the Three of Swords. And there is a, a very huge symbiosis in between these two, the Knight of Cups and the... Um, Three of Swords, and we're talking about some kind of a intimacy that it is a forming for you throughout the week. And the last one, which stands as the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Libra, that is going to be the Eight of Wands. Okay, so just give me a second to a sip of coffee. Mm. Right. So with the first two cards that we do have for you, Libra, which is the Three of Pentacles in the Ace, in the Ace of Swords, that is going to be a week in uh, generally that you are to either negotiate something or um, it's going to be a week where you are going to cooperate yourself with somebody else. Either that is going to be uh, in regards to intimacy and relationships or business partnerships and in generally cooperating with the uh, 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 entire society or an entire organization, that will depend in, on what kind of a situation you are in. But the energies which are feeding that topic of, uh, of cooperation, fruitful conversations, criticism at some point as well, because you cannot cooperate with somebody if you do not say out loud you know, what you think and, and where they get things wrong and they don't do the same thing about you as well. But with those energies, that are feeding and supporting the topic here. They are going to give you the strength to endure through the criticism. They are going to give you the mental clarity you do need in order to foresee what the situation is for what truly is, okay? Not some kind of an imaginary uh, outlook or some kind of an imaginary presumption or celluloid presumption. <clears throat> and instead, you will always going to feel the need and necessity to speak the, tr the truth throughout the week itself, no matter how ugly that truth is. This um, may not be faced straight away, you know, with a pleasant circumstances or a pleasant symptoms, but people that you are going to pray much shoot with your truth are going to start feeling huge respect towards you. And uh, eventually, even if it isn't pleasant at the start when you say them the truth right in the face, okay, uh, they are going to cooperate with you towards your uh, further development. Either that is going to be in regards to relationship or business, okay. 
just to give you an example, you may say something that did you did disapprove with your supervisor and how they tackle with things. They may not like it at the start, but after that, you know, they're going to see the truth behind it and they're going to have respect towards you that you stood for yourself and you were not afraid to speak your mind. And finally, those energies are going to uh, boost your uh, spiritual strength to endure whatever obstacles may appear uh, along the way through the week itself. But all in all, you can expect that this week is going to be a week where you're going to interact with a lot of personnel, with a lot of people, uh, and every single one of them can be ally of yours. After that, we do have uh, the challenges that you will need to overcome. And if you do have a child, that's definitely what we're talking about here. We do have a person who is a very I cannot say insubordinate, but that person is, let's say, lost. Or in other words, they don't know what they, what they need and what they know, or, and what they want, I'm sorry, and what they know as well. And they are feeling almighty, like, um, you know, they can conquer the world. I, that is because they look at the world in a very, very innocent way. They, they have no idea, you know, how dirty and, and how unfair the world is at that particular point. So your job here to overcome that challenge is to make their mind about it, to make up your point that, yes, I mean, having a, a, a goal is a great thing, but you have to be mindful how you are going to get there. And instead of being open for literally everything new that it is offered to you, you have to approach it with a little bit of a sense of security. The other thing that this card, the other way how this card could play around, it's about someone who is very wounded deep inside, but they don't give an impression of it. That is because the Page of Wands, they look very cheerful. They look very, uh, how can I say, energetic. They look very... Un unattached to anything around like th that person that seemingly everything is going on all right with them but in reality they are very very fragile from within and everything you say especially that criticism here that we do have within the week itself that you may shoot right into their face may wound them deep within and your challenge is to be to pretty much tell them the truth and in the same time, show them that you are going to be there and you are not abandoning them. Uh, so next one that we do have, this is about the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. And that is justice. And uh, it is exactly what we're talking about here, that justice, law and order are going to be in place throughout the week. So if you do have some kind of a... Uh, a law suit that it is going on uh, right now you can expect that some things truths are going to be revealed for you and for the case that you are in you can expect that justice is going to be served now that doesn't mean that it's going to be in your favor okay because your favor your your cause may not be just however justice is going to be served uh, it's, it's quite a big of misconception about the justice card, you know, for example, you ask, is, am I going to win that case? Am I going to win that case over my home with my ex-wife, for example? Somebody draws you the justice and say, oh yeah, definitely. No, I mean, you may not win it. The, it's just the case is going to be adjudicated just fully. You may not be within your rights. Okay, so just throwing it out there, just so you know, the drawing the justice does not give it to you in your back. Another thing that's uh, the, uh, amongst the gifts and the blessings here throughout the card, uh, th throughout the week, I'm sorry, within this card, it is the ability to undertake all of your responsibilities. And you are going to, if you feel that you don't have time to do so, you are going to make time to do so. But not by making the day or the hour or the day or, or, or how can I say, yeah, well, the, the day itself 
28 or 30 hours, but instead reshuffling uh, the, the tasks and the responsibilities in a such a way that they just become contiguous thing. That's one thing leads to another, okay? And that way you, you pretty much are not gonna waste time. And that this is how you're going to make the time, minimizing the wastes out there. And with the justice you do as a gift and blessing, you do have all the means necessary to get your things through. Moving next for you, Libra, we do have the impression of the people that are seeing you. Uh, that is the Five of Cups, and it's a very strong card, especially with this narrative. People are going to see you with a very... When they look into your eyes, and when, you, when they do look into your face, they are going to see grim determination. Uh, a readiness to do what it takes to get with where you want to be, even if the current circumstances and current situation is not exactly ideal for you. That relates very well with the truth that you are about to serve and deal throughout the week. You know, you may not like it, but you find yourself determined to do it no matter what. People need to know what you think, how you see things around, and in generally, I do apologize, and in generally what is the, uh, the accurate di diagnosis that you are putting on the situation itself. So people, long story short here, people are going to see you very determined, unyielding, and nothing is capable to pretty much um, make you abandon your goal for as long as you do believe that your goal is achievable. You, you are not just only going to waver your hand on it and walk away just because you are facing some kind of unpleasant circumstances or a, a difficulties that are harder than usual. I'm not saying that you will, this is just how people are gonna see you. And that is gonna pose a severe fear within the people that are your enemies, people that wants to see you in a bad place, for they will see the determination that you're not going to allow that thing to happen. And also, there are also many things that can be said about this card, but uh, people are going to see you understanding as well, that yeah, what they say, it, it hurts you emotionally, but you do foresee that it has a reason behind it and so on and so forth. But, about, but, but everything here revolves around your goal and they will see you that nothing is in, in any state, shape or form possible to deviate you for the, from the path that you have chosen. Moving next, we do have the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back and down. That is the Knight of Cups. So it's, it's a very unpleasant card having it into a, such a position. I hate such kind of people and they are, uh, I cannot even call them liars, okay? These are, these are people who just throw out their a, a promises that they don't have any idea how they are gonna keep okay so that that's even worse than a liar they have good intentions and they just overkill those intentions with everything that they are promising to you and uh, in that way it hurts you double because you do know that 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 you and that person had a potential okay but they just threw that thing away through the window because they simply not just only lie to you, to you, but they lie to themselves as well. So in order to kind of like diminish this possibility, best thing is to take everything that had been said to you, especially from somebody who, whom you do have an affinity to, some kind of a connection, intimate relationship or anything like that, you are connected emotionally with a grain of salt. Just don't judge them about that they are saying it right now because once again the intentions are good and it's just they are throwing it lightly and throwing it out there, putting it out there lightly and it's, it's truly their fault but the reason behind why they are doing it is to make you feel good. But what they, do, do, what they don't understand it is that the consequences are going to are gonna make you feel you twice as, as bad as if they haven't promised you anything or told you anything in the first place. Um, from another standpoint here, that uh, could be uh, a person 
who has the capacity and that that is true for some kind of a favor if somebody is about to do to you or, or some kind of a cooperation within work that is a person who has the capacity to do the job but they are throwing that capacity elsewhere like for example if somebody needs to get the job done but instead they are spending their time doing something private and personal right so uh, next one that will be in regards to the positive aspects that are gonna help you move through the week and that is the Three of Swords. I already touched on the Three of Swords and it's kind of like it's a, it's a continuation of the Ace of Swords here. And uh, the positive aspects of the week, it is that you, there, there won't be a words or, or how can I say mental cruelty, if we can say that it is a cruelty, if the truth is cruelty, that you cannot take, chew up and swallow down. Another thing about the Three of Swords, so there will be nothing that is to be said to you, which is going to throw you off your balance. It's just your, your, your calmness. Uh, and as well, your stance, standing is going to be unwavering here with a high amount of, 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 of resolve. The other thing about the Three of Swords that we do have, uh, it is the, um, the sport aggression. That is something we do have it in our country. Sport aggression is when the harder it is, the more aggressive you are, the more determined you are to see the thing through, to, to, to see the thing done uh, that is going to make you a very exceptional asset when it comes to tackling with crisis within your career that is going to make you very faithful lover as well regardless of what kind of difficulties you do have within your relationship with this card you always are going to try to solve them throughout the week that is and that is going to once again uh, give you the respect needed and, and deserved as well uh, and the understanding and so on and so forth. And the last thing that it is about the positive aspects which are giving you, uh, how can I say, which are giving you an edge throughout the week, that is your past experience and the healing from it, past poignant experience and the healing from it that you, whatever you went through that resembles the situation you're going to face throughout the week that had failed back in the days, it seems that you once again healed from it, you made your points from it, you learned your lessons and now all that information, all that experience is not going to allow you to repeat the same mistake twice. And uh, again, that is not going to bother you at all. And the last one here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the Eight of Wands. Uh, that is pretty, um, well, it is related, but not that much of a, a guidance. Eight of Wands here points that no matter what you face throughout the week, as an opportunity or as a, uh, as a fork, let's say, of what you can do as a way through, uh, you should not rush it, but instead think of it carefully for ways are many the ways of how you can get there are many what what matters is the goal and not all of those ways are meant for you to walk on not all of those ways are are your ways and for that reason whenever appears as a new enterprise or as a, a new suggestion new goal new idea you need to face it always at least throughout that week with a clear-headed mind so you can adjudicate the um, or discern that is the pros and the cons and do not take any risks but take only those ways or opportunities that are in the bag you are 100 percent certain that you can see them through so that being said libro this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading guys for um, december 7th to december 13th 2020 Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.